Hey guys, welcome to a Tuts Plus quick tip. I'm Adi Purdila, and today I want to show you a quick way to create and maintain button styles in Macaw. If you're not familiar with Macaw, you can check out the video description where you'll find some links. In a nutshell, Macaw is a recently launched web design application which has this amazing editor uh, you can use to build web pages. So I'm going to open up the application and let's say I'm working on a project which requires me to have two button styles, a default button style and a primary which stands out more. And also I'm going to have three different sizes for that button, a small one, uh, a big one, or a large one and an extra large one. So Macaw has a thing called components. Basically, you can create something, an element in your page, and then create a component out of that. And that component will be placed in a library, and then you can just drag and drop it back into your canvas whenever you need it. So let's start with a simple button control. I'm gonna make it about this big. And I'm going to say default button. And for this style, let me just hide the grid here. For this button style, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to make the background color white. I'm going to add a border of one pixel, a border radius of about, let's say 10 pixels. And then for the border color, I'm going to choose something like this. In hex, it should be 999. And then maybe reduce the border radius to about 5 pixels. Okay, so that is my default button. Maybe change its height a bit to about 40. 40 pixels should do the trick. So with this button, I'm going to go to Elements create component and I'm going to name it btn default and hit add. Now if I go to my library you're going to see that component right here. Click it, you get a preview and then you can drag and drop into your canvas. The button will immediately enter edit mode so you can uh, alter the text here. Now let's create a primary button based on this default one. So I'm going to simply copy it here and I'm going to change a few things about it. Let's call it primary button and inside the inspector I'm going to first change its background color. I'm going to change it to, to something like this. You can also add it as a swatch so you can use it later on. Hit OK and then the border color I'm going to choose a darker variation of this swatch. So maybe something like this. And then for font color, again, choose the swatch and choose a darker variation, something like that. Okay, now I'm also going to create a component out of this. I'm going to call it BTN primary. And now I have my two buttons. Now I need to create the different sizes for the buttons. So I'm going to move these and then copy and paste the default button and this will say default size. Then copy and paste it again. And I'm going to make it large size. Uh, for this one, I'm going to increase the button size and also its height a little bit to about 50 pixels. And also the font size. I'm going to increase it to about 18 pixels and make everything uppercase. Next, copy and paste this again, and I'm going to create the extra large size, and that will be a much longer button, and also taller, about 70 pixels. I'm gonna use bold for text, and also increase the letter spacing a bit, like one or two pixels. Okay, so now we have the sizes, and also the styles. And I want to be able to create a button anytime I want and quickly apply either its style or its size. So for that, I'm going to use global styles. And from each of these, I'm going to copy certain properties. For example, from the default button, select it, hit this plus button, 
I'm gonna say BTN default. And from this, I wanna copy the background, the border, and also the font properties. So let's see, geometry, I don't need the size, so I'm gonna tick these off. From typography, I'm gonna copy everything. Border, I'm gonna copy the border radius and the one pixel border I have, the background color, and then hit save. Next, from the primary button, I'm gonna copy some things as well. So I'm gonna call this BTN primary. Again, from geometry, uncheck those, keep the typography, keep the border and the background. Hit save, and now we have two button styles, primary and default. Now I'm gonna do the same for sizes. So I'm gonna select this first one, I'm gonna hit on the plus button, BTN default size. I'm gonna select the geometry properties here and also the font size, but not the font color. So uncheck that. And then border, uncheck these, and then backgrounds, uncheck these as well and hit save. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed or not, but I did make a mistake and that's related to the font size. As you can see from the button sizes, each size has a different font size and font properties. But on my styles, on the button styles, I also selected the font properties and I don't have to do that. So on the BTN default, I go to typography and I uncheck everything except my font color. Hit save again and I'm gonna go to my BTM primary and do exactly the same. And then hit save. So now whenever I apply the primary button style, text-wise I'll only get the text color and not the text size because the text size depends on the button size. Okay, so what do we got so far? We have only the default size. Let's create the large size as well. BTN large size, geometry, typography, select everything except text color, border, I don't need that, backgrounds, I don't need that either. So hit save and then do the same for the extra large. So BTN extra large size. So now we have two styles for my buttons and then three sizes. Okay, so let me delete these and show you how this could work. Let's say I want a primary button that's extra large. Well, I can drag one from my library, select it and apply the extra large style. And as you can see, it maintains its um, proper colors, but it's now extra large in size. Or maybe I want uh, a large default button. So I'll simply drag this from here and apply the BTN large size. Maybe I want to make this button default but keep its size. Well, I can simply add the BTN default style and it has the same background and border as a default button, but it maintains its size or maybe I want to make this one primary. Simply add this, and now you have a primary large button. So you can play around with these and create your own set of buttons. Of course, this doesn't apply to buttons alone. You can create any kind of component you want and use global styles to create variations of it. So that's about it. I hope you found this quick tip useful. I'm Adi Purdila, and thanks for watching. See you around.